150 years ago, European settlement in what is now British Columbia consisted of only a few remote fur trading posts and one small British colony on Vancouver Island. When the Fraser River Gold Rush erupted in 1858, the new mainland colony desperately needed someone to maintain order there. The person who did this was a tall man and a towering figure, Matthew Bailey Begbie. Born in 1819, Begbie was raised in the Channel Islands and educated at Cambridge University. He was a lawyer in London when, at age 39, he was recommended for the position of Chief Justice of the new Pacific Colony. Begbie was well suited for the job, not only because of his training, but also his physical strength and stamina. He was the ideal man for a new country. In his early career, Begbie crisscrossed British Columbia on an annual circuit, traveling on horseback, by steamship and canoe, and on foot. He held court wherever he could, in saloons or outdoors, where he heard cases sitting on a log or high in the saddle. Wherever he presided, Begbie always wore a black robe and wig, the symbols of his office, in order to maintain the authority and dignity of the court. He was well known and respected in the toughest regions of the colony for his wit as well as his fairness. Begbie could be very firm, maintaining law and order in the gold fields, but he also showed compassion. After his death, people started calling him the hanging judge, but historians don't really know why. His decisions were never arbitrary or overly harsh for the times. Knighted in 1875, Sir Matthew spent his later career in this courtroom, now part of BC's Maritime Museum in Victoria. People say his spirit can still be felt in the old courthouse and his sense of justice in all of British Columbia. Mm -hmm.